what is the, the Quran written according to? Okay, I will answer now. Good, good. I will tell you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he cannot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He cannot do it right. That's true. He cannot do it right. If you uh, yeah. say that, it's right because you can't write. He cannot write, but okay, that's why. Here, the Quran, how it was, how it was revealed. I will give you this. This is how the Quran. The difference between the Quran. Firstly, now I can recite the Quran the way that Muhammad peace be upon him recited it in exact form. That's it. The second thing, the Quran was reserved in two ways: memorized by masses, not one or two, by even seven years old, six years old a child, which is we have as well, someone who was six years old who memorized the Quran during the time of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah, and, and he was Imam. Yeah, even nowadays. And if you don't speak Arabic. Even though, I would tell you, there are, there, are, there are 15 million Muslims on earth memorize the Quran from cover to cover. All of it. 15 million people. Huh? No, no, no. 90% of them are non Arab. That's for you to know. Go to Pakistan. Most of Ethiopia are my friends. Yeah, yeah. They don't know a word of that. Yeah, yeah. Go to Somalia. One second, one second. Go to Somalia. Go to Somalia. Go to Somalia. The most country. One second. Oh, one second. No, no. They will, they will, they will learn, but they, don't, they are not native Arab. But they learn the Quran. They memorize it. They can't speak. They can't understand. So they're memorizing Now, here, going back. Okay. The talk. Okay. Yeah. yeah. By the way, by the way, you could have your own. By the way, by the way, you could have. Sean, by the way, you could have your own discussion later because the discussion is with me. Yeah. Now, you see here. Those ones. This is how we teach our children. They will memorize, and we we teach them the meaning of it. So those, they not just only memorize. The teacher teaching them what it means. That's why when I said to you 90% of them, they are non-Arabs, it doesn't mean they don't understand it. You see the difference? When I said to you 15 million people on earth, who memorize the Quran from cover to cover, when I said to you 90% of them, they are non-Arabs, it doesn't mean they don't understand the Quran. So those are totally different things. Going back to the point, I am non-English, non I'm not English. But I speak English, I understand it. So that's the difference. Now, and, I, and, and also I memorize certain things in English, it doesn't mean I don't understand it. Okay, going back, let, let's, let's, let's make, I'm just making a point now. Now, I said to you, in the early stage of Islam, masses memorized the Quran in the first place. And as well, it was written as well by the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And that's why when I said to you, written at the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, then it was... Yeah, we have a group. We have, we have, we have as well, we have Zayd ibn, we have Zayd ibn Thabit. We have, for example, uh, the... As well, Abdullah bin Mas'ud, those who from the narrative, narrative of the Quran, we have Ali ibn Abi Talib, we have many, many of the Sahaba of the Prophet. They are known to well in the committee when they compile the Quran. You understand? So when they put the Quran together, the way that it was memorized and the way that it was written. So that's how it is. So from the first generation of Islam until now, it is the same thing. So that's why we have now, we have what we call a chain of narrators. So I, for example, if I memorize the Quran, I will mention my teacher and the teacher of my teacher all the way to the Prophet peace be upon him, knowing each of them who has narrated the Quran, when I memorize the Quran by memorization, let alone the Quran is written and we have an early manuscript going back to the time like Sana, for example, Sana manuscript, which is going back to the time of the Prophet peace be upon him and the companions of the Prophet and so on and so forth. This doesn't exist in the And in the original language, without misnotification, without using you know, the, colonize, uh, the colonization languages in order for us to be to do it. Good. That's the next question. I hear what tells me it's the word of God. We see, we look into the Quran, and now here we, we study the Quran. We see, first of all, the miracle of the Quran is its language. The language itself is so sophisticated, so high standard, to the extent that the Arabs believe this language or this statement and this the Quran, the way that it is structured, it cannot be said by a human being. Personally. Now, for me, as an expert in Arabic, so I know what I'm talking about. 
Now, on the other side as well, so, like, I'm, I'm just I'm just bringing you. Directors, you are also the scientists, language is so sophisticated that you say that it's it's the structure. By human yes, it can't be like, said by a human being. Can't be said by human being. Yeah, for, 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 for example, yeah, for example, but that's even greater than that because at that time, people at that time, people, people used to be known with poetry and they used to hang the best poetry in, in, in Mecca and Kaaba. They used to hang the best poetry. When the Quran came there, the Quran is, isn't a poetry, but it, it, come, it has this mulidi, mulidi sound, it has its own poetic sound as well and at the same time it has information it has things it has instructions it has as well legislations and all of these things came in a multi way in a form and all of that now okay. the other the, the other thing the other thing the other thing which is as well the quran the information in the quran quran is not a science book but it has scientific facts it has scientific facts yeah quran for example is not science book and it has scientific facts quran is not historical book and it has, it's not a history book, but it has historical facts and things like that. So when we discuss this, we say, how, how this information came to us. I will give you one historical fact, one single historical fact, which it will tell you why Bible is wrong and it has mistakes and the Quran got it right. One example, small example, people, they might not see it, but I see it as a big thing. Now, for example, if I ask you, at that time, at the time of Muhammad, peace be upon him, what was the source of history at that time to know about ancient Egypt? I will tell you. At that time, the Old Testament, the Old Testament was a source of information to tell us about what's happening in Egypt. Yeah? During Joseph, during Moses, yeah? That was the only source in that area, mainly. And people rely on it as a, as a history, uh, something in history. Some people, they will say Hammurabi, whatever, but I'm saying, let's say the Bible. Okay. I will ask you a question. In the Bible, in the Old Testament, what was the name of the king at the time of Joseph? What was his title? The title, the title, Joseph. Joseph, yeah, in Egypt. Pharaoh, 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 Pharaoh. Yeah. Okay, what was the title of the king at the time of Moses in Egypt? No, Moses, Moses. Pharaoh. Yeah, he's the king. He's the one. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. The title. The title. The title. Yeah, title. Yeah, title. Title of the king is Pharaoh. So Pharaoh was the title of the king at the time of Joseph, correct? And Pharaoh was the title of the king at the time of Moses. And there is a gap between them around the thousand years between Joseph and and or or, or so. I don't. I'm not, I don't it's, I don't, they say this. Yeah. Yeah, between Joseph and Moses. Okay, we accept, in the past people accepted this. No, no problem. Quran was revealed after 600, 500 or 600 years after Jesus. Yeah, 660. So when Quran was revealed, you will find in the Quran that the story of Moses and the story of Joseph was mentioned there. When it comes to the story, you find the story of Moses scattered around the Quran from the beginning, from the, second, the very second chapter of the Quran, which is Surah Al-Baqarah, talking about Moses and his struggle against Pharaoh and Pharaoh and Moses, and then uh, Moses and Harun against Pharaoh and children of Israel with Pharaoh, etc. And we have only one single chapter in the Quran talking about Joseph, one single chapter. And different than Moses, that all around the Quran the story. It means about... Uh... Yusuf. Yeah, Yusuf. I'm talking about Yusuf. This, and, uh, the story that you hear in the Quran compared to the, the story the, that he is written in yeah, the Bible. In the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the same? No. And I'll tell you why. It's not the same. Is, is it similar? There are similar, but not the same. I will tell you why. I will tell you why. I will give you this example. I'm, I'm just doing the example. Yeah. Okay, okay, going back. 
Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to be better. The original, which is the Bible, must be better than the Quran, correct? That's what you say, yeah? Yeah. Which is, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, the comments, the original has, must be better. Must be more accurate, correct? It has to be more accurate. Good. I agree with this. I, I am happy with this. Yeah? So, so then there's one thing in chapter, I'm talking about Joseph. And then suddenly the tone, we're talking about in the same area, in Egypt. And then the tone in the Quran changed. Now they are, they are not addressing the king as Pharaoh. So we're talking about king. The king and Joseph, Joseph and the king, etc. Joseph and his brothers, the king. Okay. Now, in the past, Christian people like yourselves used to take a mix of themselves. You want to find the flaws in the Quran? You want to know the mistakes in the Quran? Look at it. Why the king is not called Pharaoh here? Why? It's Pharaoh. It's, it's common sense. And you said the original text must be accurate because the Bible, as you claim, is original text. So it must be accurate. Why do you use why do you use why do you use Pharaoh there? We said as Muslims, since it was revealed from God. He used, he used, he used king. the king. And in another version, it says Pharaoh. No. For Joseph, only king, nothing else. No. The king I, I know the appointed, the king appointed Yusuf. Okay. And the one who appointed it because no, no, his I, wife asked him to sleep with him and he no, denied no, didn't didn't say, put didn't, him in the prison. Sleep with him. Yeah, it's right. But that's, that's again, Pharaoh. We're, we're talking about not Pharaoh, we're talking about king, a king. And I'm talking about the Aziz. But, 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 the Aziz is like a minister. It, it is scripture. This guy is scholar, but I can't no, no, no. Yeah, okay, okay. Listen, listen. I, I am teaching you. I'm teaching you the Quran. I'm teaching you. If you don't know, I'm teaching you. In the chapter of Joseph, there is a story. There is a chapter of Joseph called chapter of Yusuf. Yeah? Surah Yusuf. Surah Yusuf. In the chapter of Joseph, the title Pharaoh is not mentioned at all. In, in, in the Bible, it's written there. I don't. I'm not talking about the Bible. Not, not, this is not my. I know in the Bible is written there. Yeah. That's why you are claiming it should be accurate to say Pharaoh rather than a king. Correct? It shouldn't be king. It should be Pharaoh because that was the title of the king of Egypt. No, 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 no. There's no translation. By the way, uh, you are not following. You are just trying to find the uh, thing again. Going back. Do you want me to repeat? Uh, so you Listen. The, you had the pharaoh and then you had the, the, the king. minister, minister because yes. Joseph was appointed the king. No, we don't have pharaoh about Joseph. We're talking about the king. There is no pharaoh during the time of Joseph. I well, here they say king is pharaoh. No, 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 no. It's not the same. Like, for example, to say Caesar about the king of England now. Can we call him Caesar? Can you call King George, King Charles, the Caesar of England? No, you don't use that terminology. So we don't use that terminology. So we use the terminology as it is. King is a king. Caesar is a Caesar, correct? Yeah. So going back to the point. So when we are, when we, when God has mentioned in the Quran about the story of of uh, of, uh, of Moses, always talking about the Pharaoh. When it comes to Joseph, the tone change and talking about the king. Never used Pharaoh there. Christian people like yourself, you say you got it wrong, like yourself, he said. If if you copy from our Bible, you have to follow what we have because it should be earlier, we have to be more right. We said to you before, if we believe this came from God, we have no problem. We accept what God has revealed. Alright, that's what we said. Until recently, an Englishman from this country who went and dismantled, dismantled the old hieroglyphic language into all Greek language into Latin yeah so that this guy he is one of the first one 100 years or so before yeah what he did he went and said and then he you know they discovered they discovered risotto stone read about it you, have you heard about risotto stone yeah yeah they found it this risotto stone he studied it and then he discovered what all of these written on on the pyramids around Egypt, on the on the on the scrolls that they found. And then then they, he he knew the language because it's through the Risotto Stone. Then he started translating what was written. He was one of the first ones who has done it. Yeah, before it was ambiguous. The hieroglyphic language. It, it doesn't matter. It matters that it was now we could understand. I said on Risotto Stone, it translates 
on the resort stone. Yeah. Resort stone, it has hieroglyphic letters yeah. to Greek yeah. to Latin. Do you understand? Different languages. Okay. Yeah, so it has these ones okay. to translate, to tell you what it has. So then he start, start understanding what is written now in the scroll, what is written on the, on the pyramids, what's written around Egypt. And then through the research, they said it is impossible, it is actually a big error to call the king at the time of Joseph, to call him Pharaoh. Why? Because during that time, Hexos, which is a Mediterranean rain, took over Egypt, and Hexos never used title Pharaoh. They were kings. They never used title Pharaoh. Hexos, yeah, they call Hexos. Med from Mediterranean, from Syria and this area, Mediterranean rain, who took over Egypt, they ruled Egypt. Just like the Romans, when they ruled Egypt, before they didn't... Romans? Huh? Are they before Romans? Yeah, before Romans, yeah, before Romans. So someone, Hoxos. During, during Joseph's time as minister, someone conquered the country? Conquered before the, the minister. My point is, it is impossible, historical error, to call the king at the time of Joseph Pharaoh. It is historic, historical error. Why? Because Hyksos, who ruled Egypt for nearly 700 years or so, they never used the title Pharaoh. Later on, when, when the ancient Egyptian reign, which is the king, the kingship of Egypt, when they took over, yeah, when they defeated the Hyksos and they became the, the, the king, they start using the title Pharaoh. Even in the beginning, Pharaoh was the title of the palace. Then later on, it became the title for the king. My point is, when the Bible caught Pharaoh for Joseph, that is a historical error. You understand? Because in history, as a fact, when you study in history, it is impossible. You know what means impossible? Impossible to call the king at the time of Joseph to call him Pharaoh. It's impossible. Just like, just like when the Caesars, when the Caesar, when the Roman Caesars took over Egypt, they never used title pharaohs. They still Caesars. When the king of this land, when they ruled Egypt at a certain point, again they never called themselves pharaohs of Egypt. They still called kings. They never used pharaohs. Only ancient Egypt during certain era, they have used title pharaoh, and that is right for to say it for Moses, but for for Joseph. It is impossible. Do you understand? So, so, so we got it right. So during the time of uh, Joseph, it was the Egyptians that were ruling no. Egypt. No. Hoxos. Hexos. Yes, Hexos. Which people were they? Mediterranean, from Mediterranean. They conquered Egypt. Yeah. And they never used pharaohs. They don't use pharaohs. Yeah. Basically, uh, King is the one who got dominant on the area. Like, no, you, you're missing. You're missing his point. Yes? No, no. Let the me point finish. is. Let, let, let me finish. No, he, 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 we're trying to clarify. He can't clarify it. Why? Why? That I will not speak a word. Okay. He can't clarify from one word. Let him listen. Listen, and you'll have. Let's listen. Know where you're going. The point is this: the Bible, the Bible, right? During the time of Joseph, spoke about Pharaoh. Yeah. I spoke about Pharaoh. You can confirm this. Yeah. Yes. The Quran. For the same period in the same person talks about a king. Not a yes. hero. Now you say the Quran got it wrong because you should have said Pharaoh. Did, did I say that the no, Quran is I'm wrong? No, you said it. I, you, you, you said it. You're going to say this. No, you said it. You is said that? it. Do you know how you said it? Because you said earlier. It doesn't come from my mouth. You said No, that. you said earlier. You said earlier. You said earlier. Listen, you said earlier. Listen, it's a minute ago. Perception. Five minutes ago. Five minutes ago, you said since the Bible is earlier than the Quran, so it must be more accurate. Yeah. This is what you're stating. So, so, yeah. That's what you said, yes? Yeah? You see how your president yeah. Yeah, accepts yeah? the way you say so, that. So now, now the question is, yeah. do you accept, do you accept, do you accept that this is error? It's my word, that's what I Good, yeah. Accept, yeah. Now, do you accept now the Bible but has an error now? Now, is the Bible now has an error? No. What, what is it? Oh. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, now, yeah, now you're clear. Okay. Let me, yeah, it's let me. Oh, okay, one minute. Speak. Yeah. 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 What's king mean? King. Yeah. The definition. What's king mean? King. This is king. 
of king, a king to say you must have a king. Not necessarily. How can? <laughs> generally, let's say generally. Yeah, generally, yes, generally, generally, yes. Yeah. Because, for example, so for example, for example, the king, the king of the the German Empire, whatever the emperor, whatever he lost his empire. They still call him emperor, but he lost his empire. But yeah, carry on. He had, but he lost. <laughs> like yeah. King of the no, he didn't have. He had. He was he born. Lost. He was born. He was. So generally, king what, what means. Jesus? He has no kingdom on earth. All right, okay, okay. Jesus has no kingdom on earth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, going back, yeah. But the king of Egypt, he bought. Yeah, okay. His domination. All right, all right. Yeah. Okay, so meaning on that, that we call it hero or king or uh, prime minister, president, no, whatever. No, no, no. That's no. You, you can't. You can't. Dominion. You can't. Like for example, if today, if today, today, the president, of, the president of Egypt, one second, brother, brother, listen, listen to this. If today the president of France said, "I am the king of France," people they were revolted against him, kick him out. He cannot use that title. You cannot say it's the same. No, it's not the same. President is a president. King is a king. Pharaoh is a pharaoh. Different thing. Emperor is emperor. Different ones. You cannot use the same. It's not the same term. You cannot use. Can I call today? This is Charles, Charles the Third. He is the Pharaoh of, of United Kingdom. Can we use this? Can we say this on the news? What they said. Can I say this on the news today on BBC? Can the BBC today on the news to say, King is he Charles the Third? Yes, he's the Third, correct? <laughs> yeah, this King uh, Charles the Third is the Pharaoh of England. Can you can you say that? What the Arabs they say now for Charles? Did they say the king of England or they have the Yeah, we, we say Arab, they say? Arabs. We yeah. say we say Malik means king. They say, of, what's yeah, Malik means yeah, yeah, Malik king, and we say about the Egyptian Pharaoh Pharaoh. We don't say king. Oh, you're talking about the error in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. We don't say we don't say king of Egypt. We say Pharaoh of yeah, Egypt. It's, it's Malik in Arabic. King, uh, king in English and for all in Egypt. No, 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 no. You can't go. Describe different dynasties. So in history, there's different dynasties. Yeah. Dynasty Pharaoh is different. So it's historically an it's a little bit. Salam no way. Guess what? King was the ruler. Do you know? Do you know some changes in a Bible? No, it's changed the story because that's a historical error. That's why you said you said earlier. If the Quran was came after, if the Quran came after, one brother. What is this? Let me ask you this guy. No, no, go. In the Old Testament, there was judges. Come on, listen. Pharaoh was introduced after Joseph, regardless. Pharaoh was how, after. How you get this done? You understand? Kings during earlier, earlier was kings. If they say kings everywhere, I will understand. But when they say pharaohs all the way, it's wrong. I cannot say, I cannot use the term pharaoh for the king, the current king of England. It's, it doesn't work. Sure. You understand? It's, it's error, it's wrong, it's a mistake. How does it change the story of it? It changed the story because Pharaoh is a dynasty, it different thing. The story. It doesn't change the story. That's all, at all. Well, sure, yeah, sure, sure, sure. They know what you're talking about. They get it. He's just throwing in stuff to confuse yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. He's just, just red herring. This, right, this guy does it yeah, all the time. All the time. I know it. I know, yeah. I know it. I've had several it conversations. It changed the story. I, I because and he does it because that time. king. Yeah, so <laughs> drop it. Drop it. I know it. I know it. I'm not your brother. I know <laughs> If you understand, wait, I don't know. Wait, you don't Sam, understand. Because Sam, I don't understand. Sam, I ask this guy. Sam, virtually. I know it. Anyway, okay, okay, inshallah, we'll be concluding. You see, it changed the story, it changed the fact. Because we are using historical error, that means this is not right. That is, that shows, I told you, this is one historical fact. In the Quran, if the Quran got it right, and the Bible got it wrong. That's it. Is there more than that? So I give you this, this for you to ponder, to think about it. And I hope Allah to guide you to the right path. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, we'll be concluding here, inshallah, today. Alhamdulillah. We try with Allah, we ask Allah to guide them. I need to go, Allah. I need to go. Anyway, thank you, brothers. <laughs>